All right, we're at the Dunlawton Sugar, Sugar Mill, Mill Ruins. Ruins. Good job. Look at you. Well, what do we know about this place? It's a sugar mill. Really? Yeah. How interesting. I would have never guessed that by the name of the place. <laughs> Dunlawton Sugar Mill Ruins. This part of Florida has a lot of sugar mill ruins. Yeah, I guess there is lots. Well, I mean, sugar cane grows yeah. in Florida a lot. So it makes sense that there's lots of sugar mills in Florida. Mm -hmm. So when we were reading about this place, you said something about this place it used to be an amusement park? It was a little theme park back in, in the late 1900s. Okay. Or, or I mean early 1900s. And there's like. still some remnants of... Yes, it was called Bongo Land. Bongo <laughs> Land. <laughs> but they yeah. have... Uh, dinosaur statues throughout oh. this garden that are left from the amusement park. This is the human sundial. You're supposed to stand next to the whatever month it is with your hands down and then your shadow <laughs> will point to what time it is. There's no, no sun. That... It doesn't work when it's overcast. <laughs> <laughs> and look, I can tell already though. You can tell it's um, about 340. <laughs> It's just guessing off the top of my head. If it peeks out from the cloud, then we can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Behind us is a triceratops, a concrete triceratops <laughs> from the original Bongo Land. Mm -hmm. What else can you tell us about Bongo Land? It was called Bongo Land because it was named after a baboon that lived here. Okay. <laughs> and how long ago was this? This was it was it was Bongo Land from 1948 to 1952. Okay. It's a, it's a big place for, for it's a, a garden. It's a beautiful garden. Everything's photogenic. It's mm -hmm. really cool taking pictures here and video here. Um, I don't know that it'd be super huge as a theme park, oh. but it's big for a garden. That might be why it only lasted four years as a theme park. Just couldn't, maybe. Couldn't hang or it. Maybe, maybe Bongo didn't fare so well. <laughs> After Bongo's gone, and <laughs> shut her down. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Well, that is the Dunlawton Sugar Mill Ruins. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> We've been here for about an hour, in my defense. That's uh, quite a long <laughs> yeah, time, so is. things fall out of my brain. <laughs> Usually a lot faster than that. Yeah. At least I got Dunlawton out yeah. of my mouth. That's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's a really cool place. Beautiful garden. Uh, like I said, we were here for about an hour just walking through, yeah. taking pictures and video, and reading some of the signs yeah. and learning about yeah. the history. And um, Bongo Land. Ha! <laughs> 
That's very my favorite cool. part, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite part. But um, actually, my favorite part is that it's free. Yeah. It costs nothing to get in here. No. Um, I don't know what time they open, but they close at 5. It's about 4.30 now. Yeah, I think it's like 9 to 5. Yeah, probably nine to Something five. Like but you got to get out of here before the parking lot closes. The parking lot closes at five. Mm -hmm. They'll lock your vehicle in, <laughs> and you'll be stuck. Yep. So um, we got to get out of here. <laughs> but more to come yes. from Daytona. Well, today we are at the Blue Spring State Park, and uh, it's about an hour from Daytona, maybe. Yeah, forty-five minutes. Yeah. More than that. Um, this is where between November and March the manatees come in mm -hmm. because the water's warmer. Yes. 72 degrees. 72 to 73. That doesn't sound very warm to me. But <laughs> they're big, fat creatures. So I'm sure they have layers of fat that help them out. Actually, they are very, very slim and fat. I read that on the website. They don't look slim. They have a thin layer of fat. They're very, it's like 7% is only So fat. that's, I guess, why they have to come into warmer water. Yeah. Um, now, it is not November yet. It is... October 30th <laughs> that they were filming this but um, last night I mean they're here all the time but they come in masses yeah. during the November to March yeah and and last night got down into the 60s yeah um, for the first time uh, this season in Florida so far so we're hoping that the little dip last night is enough to bring in some manatees to see yeah. So uh, I think the viewing area is down here. There's mm -hmm. lots of uh, bike trails. Uh, you can rent kayaks, all kinds of cool yeah. stuff out here. Um, we'll take you along for the day and we'll tell you more as we learn more. We did the kayak portion mm -hmm. that was awesome yeah that was fun $22 for a dual canoe yep and um, for an hour but an hour is enough yeah your arms sore yeah an hour is plenty <laughs> I'm struggling to hold this camera up <laughs> <laughs> well we got to see a bunch of cool yeah. stuff we got to see um, uh, two alligators two some turtles um, we saw some fish and I had the waterproof camera and I put that into the water so I don't know hopefully we something cool at this point in the video you've already seen it if, <laughs> if it was good enough footage to put on the the channel so um let us know how you liked it <laughs> i can't wait to go back and see it and see it see though it, and yeah. look and see if we capture anything good from the underwater camera yeah um, but now we're on this little boardwalk uh and it actually goes the same uh it goes right next to where we Parallel just to where we canoe. just kayaked yeah. and, or canoed yeah and um so now we can see stuff over by the bank. So we'll walk this and we'll show you this. And then um, and we might take the bikes out here in a minute too. Yeah. All right. Ponce Inlet Lighthouse. Yeah. Um, it's a beautiful day out. Yes. Uh, for coastal Florida, which is normally pretty humid, it's not a terrible day today. No, got a good breeze. Good day to be 
be out in, in, uh, in Florida. Yeah. And so you can go inside of here for $7 a piece. There's a little museum in here. We've never been here before, so we don't know really what to expect. But you can go up to the top. So we're going to pay our 7 bucks. Hike it up there. We'll take you with us. All right. Walked around a bit. Time to go up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how many steps? Two hundred and three steps. That doesn't sound too bad. No, not terrible. Doesn't sound bad. Yeah. They're pretty, pretty steep. Yeah. We'll see how the two hundred and three steps go. We're gonna see just how out of shape I am. Alright, let's go. Okay. Man, 203 steps doesn't sound like a lot. Holy crap, it's a lot. And they uh, got steeper. They did get steeper it's as you went up. Right. I didn't count them as we were going up, but anyway, it's um, it's a great view from up here. Beautiful. It's very windy, so yeah. hopefully you can hear us. Uh, we have the external mic on, so hopefully that will help with the noise. Uh, it'll be a good test for it. Um, so some fun facts about the lighthouse. The lighthouse was... Uh, started functioning in 1887 uh -huh. um, while it was being built in 1886 it was cracked because of the great Charleston earthquake who knew and Charleston's pretty far, far away. away so to be that far away and to get cracked that's a pretty impressive earthquake yeah um, it was totally the lighthouse was totally restored in 2001 mm -hmm. um, so there are still some original parts on it yeah. but uh, the stuff they took off of it is down in the museum mm -hmm. we showed some of that couldn't show a ton of it because um it's all behind glass so it's, yeah, the and uh are. yeah the glares is just not uh just didn't didn't video well um it photographs decently so we'll put yeah. some of that on our facebook and our instagram page so go look at those but um video wise not so great so you have to come and see it in person <laughs> if yeah. you're in uh, daytona beach area like you said earlier it's only seven dollars yeah. And it's only 203 stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it or not? Well, yeah, because yeah. we've never g gone up a lighthouse before. We had never even seen a lighthouse in person until a few weeks close, ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I always see them at a distance. Yeah, but um, there's, a, there's a lot here to read about uh, the history of this lighthouse yeah. and, and uh, the old original pieces of the, of the lighthouse and what life was like here. Uh, managing the lighthouse it talks about Light. all the curators oh. yeah and um what they all did for the property and how they improved the living conditions and the functionality of the lighthouse yeah. Yeah. so uh very cool stuff to read you're here for about an hour um you could be here longer if you read all the stuff see all the stuff i uh, wish i could have showed you more but like i said i was in in glass and just not yeah. very uh videography friendly, friendly. <laughs> But uh, definitely worth coming out, and for only seven bucks a person, uh, and I think they give us like a dollar off each for military discount, yeah. so um, six bucks each. Not terrible. No. Um, fun little stop here in Daytona. We must exercise more often. <laughs> Rona got us. Rona got us out of shape. I'm gonna blame it on Rona. Okay. All right, it's Rona's fault. <laughs> well, we are headed out of Daytona Beach, inland to. Claremont really I mean Central Florida Central Florida yeah uh, and we'll be there for three weeks and that's that's a long time because yeah for us even in Daytona we were there for two weeks and I felt like we were there for three a weeks. long time man 
I was like, we were a week in, and I was like, it seems like we've been here forever. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe it's because we just didn't do a ton of stuff in Daytona. But normally we fill our time with, you know, we're out almost every day, and we just yeah. really didn't do that in Daytona. Yeah. Um, I think we were just recovering from all the stuff we've been doing lately on the way down. So yeah. we just kind of chilled out. We saw a couple of cool things in Daytona, but, um, and we got the new setup here in the truck with the. <laughs> chaos yeah the travel day because we got the bikes in the back of the truck we got scout in the back of the truck and and scout is not excited about it because well he he is like teetering on the edge of brumation yeah he wants to yeah and one of the reasons that we that we decided to come to florida for the winter was to try to try to skip it <laughs> yeah and he is like He's I'm, fighting it. It's not as bad as it was last year because yeah, last he'd all, year he was already yeah. in brumation last well, year. Well, it came really early because last year at this time we were in Oklahoma. Yeah. And we were frozen. Yeah. Literally frozen. Yeah. And he started brumation in like September last yeah. year because he was like, Mid September. Bump this, it's cold. Yeah. And um. See you in the spring. <laughs> yeah. So he he does have his little moments of energy spurts. Yeah. And we let him out. He does run around a little bit. But you can tell he's not full on. He's not as active. Yeah. He wants to just sleep. Not sleep necessarily, but just hang just, out. Yeah. Yeah. Cat so, nap. <laughs> but, but we'll take it. I mean, hopefully through the winter, he'll still be like this where he still has his moments of. Not full brumation. Yeah. But yeah. Because, you know, we're going to see a bunch of people in Florida. Yeah, that are going to want to see him. Yeah, everybody wants to see Scout. <laughs> and it's just not fun if he's just like. Uh. <laughs> over a little cold winter <laughs> well hopefully we'll be able and we are headed south after orlando down to fort lauderdale over to fort myers so it'll be a little warmer down there so maybe that'll even pull him back out a yeah, little bit perk him up a little bit we'll see man we'll have to see how it plays out we were a little bummed that um that the manatees weren't in at blue springs yet yeah um, they're coming yeah they don't come in until mid to late november and we were there like november 1st, first but um on the back end when we get out of uh tampa and head up to crystal river there is a place there where the manatees come in we'll be there early february and they're supposed yeah. to still be there they're supposed to be there through march, march yeah. so uh hopefully later in, in february we'll be able to show some manatees yeah. and hang out um but we did see some cool stuff um, it's been forever since we've been back to Daytona. It's been 20 years. Yeah. Last time we were in Daytona, you were pregnant with Lauren. Yeah. <laughs> How crazy <laughs> is that? You know, we were in New Smyrna a couple of years ago for our family vacation, but we didn't yeah. pop up to Daytona at that no. time. So it's just been a long time. And we didn't do, surprisingly, we didn't do anything NASCAR. No. But we drove, we rode by the track, not really even rode by the track, and we saw it from the highway. Okay, it's right there off the highway. Yeah, we didn't even go down, um, what is that, a Speedway Drive Speed, or yeah. what, a Speedway Boulevard? We didn't even go down and drive past the track, which is a little... Unusual for yeah. us. Yeah, I mean, mostly, <laughs> most of the time NASCAR, we're like, NASCAR stuff, we're going to yeah. go see it, but I don't know, with all the COVID stuff, and you know, it's pretty expensive to go on a tour of the track. We did the tour of the and track. we just did one in Charlotte, I yeah. think that's why we're kind of like, eh, we're good for yeah. right now. I was really surprised at the beach. We went to the beach in Daytona and went out to the pier, the boardwalk area, and it's just not the same as it was no. when we were here 20 years ago. No, all the arcades and rides are not there anymore. No, but a lot of the strip is just wiped out. I mean, it's just gone. Yeah. And um, sadly, it doesn't look as clean as it used to look. Well, the beach itself Yeah, the beach. Clean, but, but when you get into the streets yeah. of Daytona Beach, you know, there's some homeless folks walking around. More homeless than there um, ever was. We got hit up, yeah, by a couple of panhandlers, mm -hmm. which is just uh, unusual not fun. for that area. Yeah, for us, it's unusual. I don't know if they have always been there, and we just didn't notice because we were younger. Younger, I don't know. Or it's just gotten worse. I think it has gotten worse. So, um, which is sad. It is sad. But anyway, that's it from Daytona. We did do some some pretty cool stuff. We hope you enjoyed coming along with us. And now we are headed to Orlando. The home of Mickey Mouse, even though we're not going to go see Mickey Mouse. Oh, no. No. <laughs> we had enough of that when we were growing up. We, yeah. we, were, we went to high school in Central Florida. We used to skip school and go to Disney. Yeah. So, um, and Disney's changed a lot, and we just heard from a lot of people that COVID Disney is just it's not, not fun. fun. So yeah. we're not even going to attempt it. Um, but we will do some cool stuff in Orlando. There's tons of cool stuff mm -hmm. to still do yeah. without going to see Mickey Mouse. So um, we're heading in. Um, it'll be our first regular thousand trails also so we'll yeah. put up a video about that and like we do at the end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero we appreciate you watching
we'll see you in Orlando. Bye.